start, maybe revise the future tenses, be, going to, will, and present continuous future, as we discussed in our previous classes. But before starting the tenses, why don't we start with a warm up and your future plans? Do you want to talk about your future plans? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know you want. Okay. Yes, then let's start with you. And why don't you talk about your future plans? And of course, uh, the, our focus, our emphasis is using the future structures. Okay. Yeah. Um, what will you do? I want to join Doctor Club Borders. That's my plan. So uh -huh. I can say I am going to join Doctor Club Borders. Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> And in short terms, for example, for this summer, what will you do? Do you have any plans? Um, I think I will swim. You'll and swim. Sunbath. Great yes. idea. <laughs> <laughs> and what else? Anything else? Um, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Very well. Thank you. Any other one who wants to speak about future plans? Mehmet, what about your future plans? Let's go on with you, and we will start the subject as I soon as possible. In the summer, uh, I'm going to go to Italy. You want to go to Italy, so you will, you will go to, you will be in Italy. Yeah, I will spend mm -hmm. my whole day in Italy. Mm, very well. Okay, then let's start. We are going to start with will, the functions and the usage of will in multiple examples. Uh, the first definition is will is used to make predictions. It is often preceded by thing or by opinion, words like perhaps. A time expression is also necessary. So we can say that any example starting with the words think or any other ones expressing your opinions uh, can be expressed in the future tense will, right? And I think it will rain tomorrow, for example. We can understand which tense it is by looking at the beginning of the sentence. It shows us it's an opinion. I think. Perhaps she will be late. Perhaps is also another indicator of the function of will, like certainty, right? It's not certain. It's less certain, something less certain. And tomorrow will be warm with some cloud in the afternoon. I think it's the keyword of what? Which keyword? Prediction? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And who do you think will win? Another opinion. I think we have a problem. Let's go on with the usage of will and shall. Do you remember the function of shall? Where do we use it? Yes. Everyone? Do you remember it? Do you remember the function of shall? Where do we use it? Shall we? Shall I open? Yeah, those are the keywords. I and we subjects, right? Instead of saying will I or will we, we prefer saying, shall we, shall I. They have the same meaning, right? No different. So, I and we will and I and we shall are used with no difference of meaning in most situations in modern British English. Will is more common than, common than shall. Don't forget. This is another important, uh, maybe, notification. 
In speech, both will and shall are contracted to double L. So it can be confusing with so many students in writing forms, in written forms, let's say. Am I right? So another thing that you must be very careful. information about the future in cases where there is no reason to use a present work for. We will need the money on the 15th. So we are giving an information about a future event, right? That's why we can use will. Will all the family be at the wedding? Will all the family be at the wedding. Another example, showing us uh, giving information or let's say asking for information about a future event. It will be spring soon. It will be spring soon. Is this a prediction or giving an information? And about an upcoming future event. Yeah, it's a another information, it's not a prediction, and she will be here in a few minutes, she will be here in a few minutes. We are going to, let's go on with the usage and function of be going to. If a predicted event is very near, and especially in personal statements, going to is also commonly used for predictions. So, will can be used for predictions. Be going to can also be used for predictions. What is the difference? The weather is cloudy. It's going, to it's going to rain. So there's an evidence, right? Yes. Very well. So in in almost so many grammar books. Um, it's not accepted that there is a difference between going to prediction and will prediction. But in some other grammar books, it is accepted that there is a difference, which is, as you have just shared with us in the example, cloudy, not cloudy, shiny, it's going to rain, it will rain. There's an evidence. If there's an evidence, it is be going to future tense. If there is no evidence, then it is a guess with will. Will can also be used in these examples with no change of meaning. You are going to fall. You are going to fall. <coughs> Liverpool are going to win the cup. Yeah, again predictions. Going to can be used instead of will in predictions. For some speakers, this seems more colloquial. What is colloquial? Daily life. Daily life, right? Daily life usage. I'm sure we are going to enjoy the film. I'm sure you will enjoy the film. Yeah. And another aspect. We often make a prediction because we can see the cause of the event. If you know the cause of the event, then, uh, just like in the example, look out. There is a bus coming. It is going to hit us. What is the reason? What is the cause in this example? What is the reason? What is the cause? There is a bus coming. This is the cause. You see the cause. So. Uh, this prediction is used with be going to. 
or I can see you are going to have a baby. When is it due? In this example, we can also see uh, the cause or less reason. Yeah, another important keyword for going <coughs> to. When we talk about plans, decisions, and firm intentions, especially in an informal style. Intention is the key word here, right? Intention. For example, we are going to get a new car soon. We are going to get a new car soon. Here, uh, we have the intention. And that's what, with what we understand, this sentence is with, you know, be going to. When are you going to get your haircuts? Another example. When are you going to get, what is your, you know, what is your intention? When, when is it going to happen? So, before starting future continuous, I think we need something to give more examples. And we need Ramazana of Tukhazera in the sense. Okay. I think we have talked about the instant decision, the plans at the moment of speaking. Which sense is that? Will. Will. We can uh, talk about uh, plans at the moment of speaking, or in other words, instant decisions. Why don't you uh, show us with a dialogue? An example of instant decision with using will structure. Okay. I'm entering a shop and looking for a sweater. Mm -hmm. So I look at the red one. So calling for the assistant. Who's the assistant? Up to go. You are the shop assistant. Uh, Get involved. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, we will buy. Uh, yes, um, I think I'll do, but uh, is there in a larger size? <laughs> yes, I think that will be a larger size. Okay, how much is it? Uh, it's written on the five <laughs> <laughs> Continuous is used to describe a situation at a particular time in the future. This time next week we will be eating lunch on the plane. So by looking at this example, I want to decide what kind of a uh, discourse is that. Is it more uh, direct? or less direct. I mean, let me exemplify. For example, imagine that you are talking with one of your friends and you want to talk about your future plan or let's say what's going to happen in a specific issue. Like just, you know, in this example on the plane. You can say, we will go, we will eat something on the plane tomorrow. Am I right? And this is more direct. You can directly talk uh, with using will. And in this sense, future continues has a difference. This time next week, we will be eating lunch on the plane. This sounds less direct. So that means maybe you don't prefer using it with your friends, but uh, with more, you know, more important person, maybe with your boss. Who knows? Maybe with your boss, yeah. It is much more convenient. And you will say less directly, which means more politely ask the same or less say the question, not ask, but 
this time next week we will be eating lunch on the plain box. Yeah, this is gonna be much more polite, right? Rather than saying will be, uh, will eat. So the first keyword is it is less direct. This time tomorrow I will be skiing. This time to tomorrow I will be skiing. So another thing by looking at the structure, which is very crucial to understand future continuous and its functions. This time next week, the time expressions, they are, they are important. This time tomorrow. Such time expressions can be used with future continuous, future perfect tense, and future perfect continuous. Rather than using them with be going to, will, and present continuous future, we use them with those structures. <coughs> So it is also another important elimination method that you can use in the exams. Don't forget. This time next week, this time tomorrow. And we have some others. Yeah. It is also used to it is also used to predict the future states, future states or habit at a particular time in the future. In 10 years time, I expect I will be living in London. It is expected to happen. That's why you say, I expect I will be living in London. In 10 years time, this is also crucial. The time expression. Why? Why is that? Say now. Can we use such time expressions with other structures like be going to Will be going to uh, present continuous future? Yeah. No, we can. Uh, because of this, uh, in 10 years' time, it's the pro progress mm -hmm. time. And uh, it's a prediction, it's a uh, plan. It's a plan? Yes. Yeah. So, this is another time expression that you can differentiate all those future tense structures in exams and other methods, keywords, in 10 years time or in five years time. And I will probably be cycling to work. And I will probably be cycling to, to work. Professor Usher will be giving another lecture at the same time next week, at the same time next week. So this, is a, this has to be shown in a progress in the future, in a progress. It's going, it is going to go on at a particular time in the future. That's why it is future continuous. Mm -hmm. Yes? Is there any difference between will give another lecture or will be giving another lecture? Will be giving. Will, oh. if, if, if I say, Professor Asher will give another lecture. Yeah, uh, the, the first difference that I have told in the beginning of the class will be giving going to be more polite and less direct while will going to be more uh, direct, less polite. So maybe the usage can be seen among the friends okay. for will, but for future continuous, it can be used for, you know, more formal uh, conditions. Yeah. Future perfect. So before starting it, I want you to say, and uh, the, the very important keyword is completed for this structure, future perfect. Completed. It is the most important one. Uh, the future perfect looks back from a point in the future and refers to indefinite time up to that point, which is also, which also means uh, we are talking about a future event which is expected to be completed at a particular time. So you look back from that specific time. Look back. You will understand through the examples. 
<clears throat> by the time we get there, by the time we get there, the film will have started. Will have started. So, which means it has started, right? Am I right? It has started, actually. The builder says he will have finished the roof by Saturday. So, the roof will be finished, actually, right? Finished. We are talking about the uh, length of time. Not length of time, I'm sorry. Uh, we are talking about the event and it will complete, it will be completed at a particular time in the future. The car will soon have done 100,000 miles. So, it will be completed. The only key word is for this structure is completed in the future. That's uh, wh why, why it is so important, because we need that keyword to differentiate the usage of other structures as well, like future perfect continuous. Now, this explanation is just for the first explanation. The film has started, as I said before. Now, future perfect progressive. Future per perfect progressive uh, is so similar, I think, similar to the future continuous, but there are some differences, and we will compare. The future perfect progressive, the emphasis, the main fundamental emphasis of the structure is the answer of the question, how long, which also means the length of time. The length of time. Just like what? What am I talking about? No, 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 no. Length of time. Length of time. Give me an example. Like 40, for two years, right? For two years or for three years, whatever. Those are demonstration of the length of time and they are the emphasis of the focus of the Future perfect co progressive. Next Christmas, I will have been teaching for 20 years. Okay, now it's the time to make a comparison. What if we say next Christmas, I will have taught for 20 years? Can I say that? Or in other words, can you rewrite the same sentence with using future perfect, and what will be the change in the meaning? Menta? Uh, in future uh, perfect, it's completed. Mm -hmm. And progress, it's uh, up to progress and go down, uh, go on. It goes on and here is the focus. The answer of the question, how long? The length of time. You cannot see the length of time in the examples of future perfect. This is the main difference. By her fifth birthday, she will have been working in the same office. So, if I say by her fifth birthday, she will have worked, what's going to be the meaning? Dennis? If I say she will have worked, future perfect. Yeah. It's going to be completed, right? Yeah. Again, the complete and progress keywords. This is also important, my friends, because we have talked about it before in the previous classes. After time expressions, when, if, until, as soon as, by the time, I think you can exemplify more. We don't use future tense. Why it is important? Because it is another elimination method for the exams. You can find out 
uh, the correct answers by eliminating other false expressions. So this is another important method. I will wait for you here until you get back. Actually, here we are trying to explain the usage of present simple tense, the usage of present simple tense instead of future structure. So I will wait for you here until you will get back. It is a false expression. It's not correct. Grammatically wrong. You cannot use such a future expression after such words. So, what's going to happen? Can't we mean, can't we express a future meaning in such, with such words? Yes, we can. We can use simple present tense and give the future meaning. So, actually this means I will wait for you until you will get back. But as it is grammatically wrong, we cannot write it. Instead of it, we use present simple tense. If I am there tomorrow, I will phone you. I will phone you. When it is ready, I will give it to you. In the second example, again, we don't say if I will be there, if I, if I will be there. Or in the second example, I will give it to you. We don't use such future structures. Instead of it, we use simple present tense because it gives the same meaning. Going to use to describe a present intention. I think we have discussed it in the beginning of the lesson, right? I'm going to fix the television tomorrow. This is my intention. Will is also used for decisions made at the time of the speaking. Instant decision as we have practiced with the role play of Abdul Qadir and uh, Ramazan. I know I will get him a wallet for his birthday. This is an example of instant decision or uh, a plan at the moment of speaking. Present continues. <laughs> okay, we are we are coming to the end. Don't worry. The present continuous is used to describe plans and arrangements, which are definite. Such arrangements might be written in a diary. So we can use present continuous future for the future events that you want to write in your diaries. Diaries. This is important. I think we haven't talked about it before. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm living in the morning. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm living in the morning. Or the present continuous is used to describe fixed arrangements and to ask about social arrangements. Are you doing anything this evening? Another example. And I think we are. Yeah, we're done here.